There she goes. Come on. Too close, Phelps. You're way too close. Get the brakes, Cole. You know Give some room. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. You've got a pretty funny idea of what keeping a low profile means, Phelps. Get in there and see what she's up to. Get in there and see what she's up to. Don't you? Then make some calls. I'm going to be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm. Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I got the film. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McCarthy will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2, KGPL clear. Roger, KGPL, 11K en route. All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K code 3. All other units code 2. KGPL clear.
I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. to do to earn twenty thousand dollars Incidental. Great Wall of Babylon, a replica of a replica. the set, Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. I'm stumped. Ideas? Take a look around. You never know what those goons might it's have like left like a mermaid behind. in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Those men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. 
Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. You are complicit in all of this, Gloria. You know what happens to these poor, deluded kids, and you go along with it. I need to find your husband. Why'd you come to Hollywood, detective? Handsome young man like you might find a little something in the movies. You've never thought about it? No, I haven't. Well, then you must be the only person in this burg who hasn't. We're born into temptation, detective. It's character that determines what we do about it. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. You know exactly what happened yesterday, don't you, Mrs. Bishop? You've been through it yourself. I'm gonna call my lawyer. You have a damn cheek accusing me of that. You should be ashamed of yourself, detective. I've already been through a lot today without your harassment. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. got things to do. Wake up, Cole.
Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Wake up, Cole. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife. We're finally loving.